What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are discussing the events this week on Roblox. Obviously, you can see on your screens in front of you, this is the Roblox.com tab and this is underneath the sponsor developer events. So it says pretty much discover what's happening right now on Roblox as it updates you every time they change uh, venues on the site. So it says to check back every Thursday to find out about the latest in-game community events. Keyword in-game. So don't really expect anything to be won outside of these games. Now, if you do find a game and you are able to win, you know, a free virtual item from the catalog, please write it down in the comment section or private message me on Roblox and let me know what did you receive and what game it came from. Um, but as I said, you know, throughout my last videos, I believe these developer events and these live op events, you don't get uh, anything from the catalog. Everything is strictly in-game based and that kind of sucks but at the end of the day you want to have some reputation when you come into the game so you know it's something to think about now let's go through these events and just see what's the general overall of each one of them so the first game we have is volcanic battle it's an extreme battle with a bunch of new items and a legendary one known as the ultra slasher you're bound to have fun in this team battle madness. So there's not much in the description of the overall game. Volcanic that obviously pertains to volcanoes. So maybe you're battling team versus team on a volcano, you know, and maybe the volcano's erupting or something like that. I have never played this game nor knew it existed, <laughs> just to be honest. Next, we have Zoro's Italian Restaurant. At Zoro's Italian Restaurant, you can work up the ranks of the restaurant from a trainee to a master chef. Simply dine as a valued customer or explore. You are in control of your fun, eat, work, and play. So this kind of reminds me of, what is that, pizza, work at a pizza place. This looks like it might be the same kind of game in which you can actually do the job or you can, you know, pretty much explore the neighborhood and stuff like that. Go party with your friends and, you know, just have a general good time. Now, I do like work at a pizza place, but more so the reason why I stopped playing it is because that kind of game requires people to actually role play, you know. So you have to actually pretend like you're, you know, working at a pizza place and there happens to be, you know, a ton of people that come into the servers and don't actually do the jobs required. So then you have lines backing up, you have pizzas molding and there's stuff all on the floor. No one's delivering stuff. Everyone is just at someone else's house at a party or worrying about being in a live stream and stuff like that so that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing that game but this might be very much the same the same game you know just a, a slightly different iteration of it um, so yeah you know just check these games out and come back to the comment section and let me know what you guys think about these games overall the next one I'm not even going to pronounce that <laughs> because I could already see the backlash in the comment section. So it just says, on this quest, you would need to talk to a student at the school in the village. You must find five pencils and three books hidden in the map. You will also be required to give away a dish of food to a student. Not sure what this is, but this sounds like... Uh, a wacky version of Baldi's Basics or something like that in which you had to find the seven notebooks and get out of the school alive, basically. But this one, you have to find five pencils and three notebooks hidden in the map. So I don't really have any interest for these games. I'm not sure about you guys, but so far, the only game that I possibly would consider playing if it were me on Roblox would be this Zoro's Italian Restaurant. 
not sure about this live ops event and this first one i don't even know what this is now this one here this last game well second to last um this one actually it struck me because as i said none of these games i have never recognized before but this one right here has a price value in it so that just like threw me off I'm like what the fuck is this so the highly anticipated fantasy world of Visteria, however you pronounce that, enters its beta release on May 25th. So what's today's date? May 24th. So that will be tomorrow, will be, I guess, the official release for the game, or an updated version of the game. I'm not sure. But it also says that you know, it's slashing the access price to just 80 Robux. So I actually clicked on this. Now, what I did was basically I right clicked and opened this up in a new tab. So when I opened it up in a new tab, look what I fucking find, ladies and gentlemen. This game was 800 Robux. Like, like what, what the hell is this? This game was priced at 800 robux who the hell was playing this game but let's go down and just see the facts about the game um fight intricate monsters discover breathtaking environments find hidden secrets obtain rare items form parties with friends complete quest lines take on menacing bosses catch fish and so so much more in the vast open world of visteria the ultimate fantasy experience on Roblox. There's nothing like it. So it's been awarded the 2019 6th Annual Bloxy Award for Technical Achievements. Okay. Okay. Vistoria Beta drops this Saturday, which is tomorrow. Beta slashes the price from 90% down to just 80 Robux. Players who purchase the Alpha will receive a goodie bag with rewards and a special title. Like, like, you see, like, this is what I'm talking about. This is where people get ripped off for buying games. Spending Robux on them. Because this is what you get, a, a goodie bag with rewards and a special title. First off, what is the goodie bag? What, what are the rewards inside of the goodie bag? And the special title is just like, what, it's just a stamp? Like, okay, you played this game, good job. You know, like, good job. That's what the stamp is. And then first off, as I said, 800 Robux, they were bugging the fuck out. I'm sorry about the language, but this really, you know, it angers me to see this price and the people that actually, you know, paid this much. It has over 9K likes, 263 dislikes, <laughs> excuse me, and they're slicing the price down by 90% to just 80 Robux. Wow, you know, it's still pricey. 80 Robux is still a lot. Now you're saying to yourself, obviously, well, why is he complaining? He has 269 Robux. Still, this 80 Robux right here, it hurts people that don't have that 80 Robux. You know what I'm saying? This 80 Robux can be used on a dozen amount of clothes. You know what I'm saying? If you buy clothes for five Robux, you're in there. You got outfits for days if you're using for five Robux. <laughs> you got 80. You know what I'm saying? So this is still pretty much a lot for a game. Think about Bloxburg. Bloxburg is 25 Robux. And you're looking at this and you're like, 80 Robux? Damn, that's still pricey. I agree with Barry. Like, this is crazy. Like, it, it, it was super crazy here at 800. But now they're slicing it down to... 80 is still like, eh, you're still asking me for money. And let's see what's in the store. Because obviously, if they're still taking Robux for us to purchase, you know, to have access to the game, they obviously have stuff in the store in which they're probably asking for more Robux. And they don't. Wow. Okay. This game does not sell any virtual items or power ups. And there is no gear for this game. Do they have servers for you to purchase? This game does not support VIP service. Okay, so they did something right. They did something right. They're not asking for too much in the game, 
but obviously they were asking for a whole bunch outside of the game because coming to this web page you can obviously you know obviously see that this is 800 robux right now but tomorrow it will change down to 80 robux which is still pretty much a lot so if you don't have 80 robux you will not be able to play this game you will not be able to participate in this event and that's kind of stupid you know um 120 people 123 people are playing it it's been favorited uh, at least 52,511 times it's had over 523,000 visits it was created you know about last year it's been about a good year max players are 20 per i guess server let's double check that yeah 20 per server there's only two people playing this game right now. These two people are obviously rich or they're developers in the game or some shit like that because I don't understand why they're playing this game. Let's look at the trailer. Make it look a little better. Sorry about that. So yeah, that didn't interest me at all. Not sure about you guys, but that just looked like a bunch of crap for 800 Robux, or shall I say 80 Robux by tomorrow. Just, I don't think I'm going to be playing that. I'm just sick of looking at it, so just close that page down. And the last game we have is Boost Vector. Play the Boost Vector summer-themed map, including new visuals and overall summer-esque decor littered throughout the game alongside this is a never seen before special single player race track for players to get special themed items so now the question is are these special theme items in game based or are they something from the catalog as i said i'm not sold on any of these games I don't think any of these games would give you anything from the catalog, but if they do, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to end this video. That Vistoria, the trailer upsetting me, the price upsetting me. I'm just upset at that whole entire game. Now, if you do enjoy that game, let me know why you enjoy it, and maybe I can be convinced to give it a try someday in a live stream. Um... Real quickly, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button at the end of this video. And make sure your post notifications are turned on, ladies and gentlemen. Those post notifications will alert you every time I'm uploading or doing a live stream on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and hopefully you don't get too frustrated with it as I did. Now I will be back on doing another live stream showcasing more of my artwork. So for those of you guys that have missed the first stream, I had to delete it due to some copyright claims. So I had to make sure I was safe before YouTube catched it. You know, so soon as it ended, I deleted it. I will try to go back over these pictures with you guys again. Um, for those of you that did tune in earlier, I appreciate it. You know, shout out to Lewis Gaming because he stood there throughout the whole thing was commenting and talking to me at the same time you know so that's something that i want more of you guys to do when you're in the live stream you know just generally talk to me you know ask questions don't be afraid to ask anything you know what i'm saying as long as it's appropriate i will answer it but if it's you know pertaining to something that's inappropriate i will not answer it and i will have to time you out obviously for you know asking that question and also, the live streams is not for giving out Robux, so please don't ask about Robux giveaways because the group doesn't have anything right now. I don't have Builders Club, so I can't make outfits and purchase them, you know, thus putting in the group funds, obviously, 
because of the fact I don't have Builders Club, you know. I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to be getting it back, but I shall be getting it back soon. And once I get it back, then I will be back on the grind of putting in Robux. And once again, you know, if you guys have Robux, try to support the store. Now, right now, currently, I believe everything is off sale until I get Builders Club back. And that's something that I hate because I feel as if it's stupid. You should still be able to sell your merch and stuff like that in game, you know, without Builders Club because it's already made. You know, it's not like I just made it and then my Builders Club expired. No, I had this stuff for quite a while. A lot of people ask me about my outfits and stuff. Then when they go to my outfits and they see that it's off sale, they think it's me. You know, it's not me. It's Roblox. Soon as my Builders Club membership is over, that's when they decide to take your merch off of the shelves. It's not available for anyone to purchase. So whenever I get my Builders Club back, that's when you guys will be able to, you know, support the store and support outside of the store because I do make tons of other outfits outside of my groups. You know, I have a lot of superhero themed outfits in case you guys want to check those out. I make a lot of outfits with detailed sneakers on them as well because, hey, I don't want to be walking around Roblox in my bare feet, you know, and I don't want to be talked about throughout Roblox saying I'm a YouTuber who doesn't have uh, super cool kicks on his feet. So, yeah, that's the kind of lifestyle I live when I play the game. So hopefully you guys will partake in that lifestyle with me. I catch you guys in the next one.